Do you know, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, when I was young, there were times when I attend the celebration of the Holy Eucharist. I do it just for the sake of fulfilling my responsibilities or my Sunday's obligation. Is that enough for me to express my love for our loving God? Every time I attend the celebration of the Holy Eucharist, just to accomplish my Sunday's obligation, attending the Holy Mass. It is not. It is not sufficient to express my love for our loving God when I attend the celebration of the Holy Eucharist for the sake of fulfilling my Sunday's obligation. Because the Holy Eucharist is the real presence of our Lord Jesus. Today, we are celebrating the most holy body and blood of our Lord Jesus. Just what we have heard in the second reading, St. Paul says, when you eat this bread and drink the cup, you always proclaim the death of our Lord Jesus until he comes. Because of the Holy Eucharist, we are gathered here together as one family to worship, to glorify our loving God. Because of the Holy Eucharist, our Lord Jesus unites us to our loving Father and to the Holy Spirit. Because of the Holy Eucharist, our Lord Jesus is always present to us. Our Lord Jesus never stopped finding ways to bring us to Him. Because of His unconditional love, because of His great love, He is already ascended into heaven. But because of that love that He has for us, he always offers himself for us in this Eucharist. The gift of the Eucharist is not just an ordinary gift. It is a gift so that all of us one day can join in the kingdom of our loving God, can enter into his kingdom. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, every time we decide to attend or to participate in the celebration of the Holy Eucharist, let us not just do it for the sake of doing our duties or obligation on Sunday, but let us embrace, let us be enthusiast or willing to embrace the Holy Eucharist. Because every time we embrace the Holy Eucharist, we are embracing our loving God. We are participating in the life of our Lord Jesus Christ. And when we participate in the life of our Lord Jesus Christ, let us also embrace the task or the mission that our Lord Jesus has. And that is to also bring the love or the Eucharist to others, especially those who do not believe in the celebration of the Holy Eucharist. Let us always thank our loving God for this gift of the Holy Eucharist. Because only through the Holy Eucharist that we experience the real presence of our Lord Jesus. Our loving God always pouring us his blessings, just like today, we are celebrating Father's Day. Let us also thank our fathers in this world, because when we thank our fathers in this world, we are also appreciating 
the gift of our loving God for us. Because through our fathers in this world, we are now here to experience and see the beautiful or wonderful creation of our loving God. Our loving God is great. I remember our communion last week, weekend, last weekend, Sunday, our communion song. As it goes, then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. How great our loving God because of his unconditional love for us. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, let us continue to embrace the Holy Eucharist so that we can also always be great before God and also lead others toward Him.